Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> two, three, four. Hey, y'all. Donald James here. Hey, I had recorded a fancy intro and did all the audio on it, and somehow it just disappeared into the interwebs off my computer somewhere. So what I'm doing is showing how I got my stickers to stick on my kayak. My Vibe has a very rough surface. It has a very textured surface on the upper side of it. And I had to smooth that down to get these stickers from falling off. So check it out. So I know where I need to smooth everything down to. Don't want to go too far beyond. Too much extra effort. And I'm gonna use a 150 to start the sand. And then I will just slowly go up. Just like if you're an automotive guy, 150, 220s, 380s, 4s. Um, I will go all the way up to 1,000, 1,200, then 2,000 grit. And this thing will be, should be polished smooth and shiny. And the sticker should stick. That's what we're after here. <laughs> All right, that's my rough sanding locations. Starting out with 220. Can't find any 150 other than the little pad I got. And I'd like to use the orbital sander to do this a little bit quicker. Coming along pretty good. I wish I did have 150. This would come along a little bit faster, and then I could build up from there to the, the finer grits and smooth it out. But the 220 is doing the job. Well, I got stuff all over that camera lens. Wipe you guys off. Um, you know, I don't know if Vibe's going to be happy about me standing on the kayak, but you know, I want those stickers to stick. I want them to stay on there. So um, anyway, I'm going to keep at it. Uh, one thing I was going to say when I talked about that 150 grit just a second ago, uh, 40, 60, 80 grit, that kind of stuff, if you've ever used that, you know that that will eat through things real quick. It'll go through Bondo body filler real fast. So I wouldn't recommend trying that with your uh, kayak. It would probably chew it up real fast. It's going to make huge grit, um, sand lines in it. And if you're not paying attention, you could make yourself a hole. So that's why I said 150 and 220, and 220 is doing a great job. As you can see, looks pretty good. It's all uh, sanded. Oh, there goes my umbrella. Hey, let me grab my umbrella. Got to keep my shade going. So you guys a couple little lines here you know on this molding line there's two pretty deep um, so you can see those pretty deep mold marks and uh, I'm not even gonna try and get those out they go in there deep enough that I'm afraid I might uh, mess with the integrity of the hole a little bit so I'll just be a little bit more careful or not more careful I'm gonna, gonna be careful no matter what I do but I will be uh, a little more mindful when I'm putting the sticker there to make sure I get a good seal in that area. Alright, uh, this is 400 right here. I'm going to do a little block sanding with that as my next one. And it's a wet or dry. A lot of work for a sticker, huh? <laughs> now water's fine to spray on here. I just happen to have uh, some glass cleaner by me, so that's what I'm using. But spraying water's Usually what you do when you're using a wet and dry sandpaper. Now you can probably see that's already 
the dullness from the original sanding is already going away and it's super smooth up here and down here and I'm getting the the vibrant shine back that uh, the Vibe Kayak has with its original finish. Makes me happy this is going so quickly. I think I'll be able to move up to a 1200 or a 600 then a 1200 grit right after this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bump up the 600 already. Try and give you guys a view. See if you can tell. The light will let you see if you can see. There's the dullness right there compared to the vibrant finish. And uh, so that dullness will come out as I go up to the higher and higher grits. I just want you guys to see what it is I'm looking at. All right, well, I went over it. This is 1200 and uh, it's really smooth. It's starting to really look good again. So now I'm at uh, 2000. This should be my final sand. And then after that, I'll dry it off real good and put the sticker on. I'm not using the block, I'm using my hand on this one. And uh, coming across the, the line here about 35, 45 degrees. Smooth. <laughs> I'm making my last pass with 2000 here. I'm about as close, I think, to the original sheen as I can get. You know, it's not like automotive paint. The texture in plastic is going to be a little bit different, but it's pretty darn close with this 2000, and it's super smooth. So that sticker should go on here. Shouldn't have any air bubbles underneath it. No, uh, no weak sticking points on the edges of it where water can get through, a wind that can pick it up. And that was the issue, and if you uh, are in the Vibe Owners group on Facebook, people were talking about the stickers were coming off, because Vibe has this, I call it a non-stick surface up here, or non-slip, <laughs> non-slip surface up here. So it's kind of rough, which keeps you from sliding off of it, but when you put a sticker on there, it allows the, the, the edges not to seal real good on that sticker, so water and wind gets in there and the sticker slowly lifts up. So that's what all of this was about if I didn't say that in the beginning. Setting this down so that my sticker will stay on here, my decal. And I'll say that, uh, you know, I had these stickers made, so there, there was investment in the sticker. And uh, I don't want it to just fall off. I don't want to keep making that investment. So hopefully this will work out fantastic. And uh, that sticker will be on there for a season or two. I'm going to put it right underneath my Vibe logo. Alright. I'm going to dry it off with the sticker on. I know somebody watching this has got a better way to do this, so you all can <laughs> just tell me the better way to do it. Maybe next time I'll save myself some time. It's working. Alright, here we go. Oh, so far so good. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Stop that. Stick on there for me.
out. Let's hope all this effort is golden. My vibe is now sporting my logo. You baby. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get this thing wet. All right, check this out. There it is. Even got a $9.95 umbrella that kind of matched the colors. <laughs> Found that at the Walmart. Oh, actually, no, I didn't get that. That, uh, I was at Jamaica Beach, uh, Galveston area, and uh, walked into a convenience store there, and that's where I got this. Didn't even realize the colors matched until I threw it up just now. Anyway, there we go. There we have it. Oh, this is crazy. Alright, if there's any changes after I use it, I'll uh, post them up. Yeah, baby. <laughs>